Jason Parsons is here now. Ooh, look at those. So he's got his version of the famous Portuguese custard tart. Yeah. It's looking pretty good, Jace. Well, I'll tell you, this was a bit of research because I, I grew up in Cambridge and there's a lot of, you know, uh, Portuguese around. And we asked them all different family recipes. Yeah. You know, everybody's got their own. But uh, what it came down to was the crust. Mm. You need a nice crispy crust. Yes. Okay. So what I've done is I've taken a traditional puff pastry, yep. rolled it out nice and thin. But puff pastry is mostly made of butter, right? Right. Well, Nothing need, wrong with that. Need to add more butter to it. <laughs> So we just added more. And you put uh, more butter on. So what you do is you just spread a thin layer of butter over here, and then traditionally they put some cinnamon in there. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we like to twist it up a little bit. So okay. I've got pumpkin spice. Oh, nice. You know, what's that? Ginger, clove, a little bit of cinnamon in there. Sometimes right. you've got allspice in there. But I think this just gives it a little bit of a unique touch to it. It gives it some body, right? Yeah, that is yeah. huge flavor. But you can smell it already, right? Mm -hmm. And then what you do is you actually roll this up. And you don't have to be fancy at first. Okay. But you just kind of start. It's almost like making a cinnamon roll. A per, it's the perfect temperature. Yeah. I thought it would be melty by now. No, no, it's good. It's good. Uh, but then you basically just keep rolling and rolling and rolling. Mm -hmm. But what you do is once you're finished, you end up with something like that that you just cling film. Got it. It's that easy. Yep. Put that in the fridge, and that then you can sits. see the spirals in that. Look at that. That's beautiful. Right? But what's neat with this is now you actually cut that into a little puck. Yeah. And then you turn it on its side, so you've got all those layers, and then you just put it into your tart mold. Oh, okay. Isn't that great? Yeah, that's great. Oh, so that's how you make all the layers. Well, that makes sense. And you think about all your layers are going this way, so yeah. when it cooks, it's going to be nice and crispy. Yeah. And you can just basically push it up, make it nice and thin. Are you guys freaking out because you want to eat it? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh my god, I put it in my mouth. Well, and it's so easy, right? I mean, yes. you could probably cut these down, bake them off, and just eat them as they are, right? Yes, you could. Um, but, what a uh, great idea. This is my new cinnamon roll. Yeah, I'm all, I'm all about bread and crust. Oh, you can well, put something in it if you want, but I'm okay with just the bread it. and the we're, crust. We're going to have that egg custard, but we yeah. want that crackle on the outside. That's right. right. So that's the key right there. But then the custard is really easy. All you're doing is you're taking you know, a little bit of egg yolks, mm -hmm. a little bit of sugar, and you don't even have to cook this recipe. I mean, we're going to cook it in the oven, but a lot of custards you have to do on the stove top. Yeah. What you want to do is just whisk it, and they call it creaming, but it's basically just kind of getting those, the sugar to break down a little bit. Right. But just to rush it up. Then you've got your milk. Okay. You just bring it to the heat, and then can you just hold that bowl for me yep. there? I won't. I promise I won't burn you. I, you're a professional. I, I feel comfortable. It's fine. No, you know, we got insurance. <laughs> but you just want to pour that in slowly. You know, like that. And then all you're doing is just basically whisking it together. This is where this is where you get the workout? No, this is it. That's, no, you, that's is all it. you're doing is emulsifying it together. Okay. But then I would let that chill a little bit. You don't have to. Mm -hmm. uh, but you just end up with a custard like this. Yeah. You know, but you can just simply pour it in. And the, the trick is only to fill them three quarters of the way. Got it. Okay. Not up to the, right up to the top. Because they will rise, right? Mm -hmm. And then everybody, when we bake, we're always worried. So we're baking at 325, 350. No. 400, 425 degrees. Yeah. Get them in there, get them hot. The eggs will actually even bubble a little bit. If it curdles, it's actually kind of good. Okay. You know? And then what you do is when you come out, you get this really crackly, crispy, and then you just finish it off with some icing oh sugar. Oh my gosh. Right? Beautiful. And some more pumpkin spice. Yeah. And look at the char in it. That is a simple, crispy, and kind of traditional. I think they look amazing. Yeah. You could sell those for $100 each. Look at how good they are. I think I could right now. I think you could right now. Nice. Beautiful.